about amazing talent yani sauti ya kutoa nyoka pangoni hey i tell you <laughs> and that is the beautiful and talented elsie gach and she is in the building right about now we'll get to know her she'll get to sing for us yani i'm sure you unataka kusikia hiyo sauti pia wewe si ndio lazima tusikie hey auto tunes pale eh i know lazima lazima welcome to the studio elsie thank you how are you doing i'm doing well thank uh-huh. you for having me thank you for coming yes uh-huh. <laughs> so before we even go on can you do an a cappella for us of that of vumilia so, yes of vumilia okay. <laughs> vumilia mama kaza mwendo tata usilie kaka i promise you there's a light at the end of the tunnel oh my god <laughs> so beautiful. Thank you. Wana na kale kafilu na kanga nini ya bad kama sio. Anyway. As I tell you sana. Yeah. How does it feel having such an amazing voice? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know how is one supposed to feel. I just <laughs> I, I just know. feel blessed. I can uh-huh. say I feel uh-huh. blessed. Yeah. So kindly introduce yourself to our audience okay. and tell them what you do and yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So my name is Elsie Gatch. Mm-hmm. I'm a musician yeah. and fashion designer. Mm-hmm. I studied fashion design and marketing at Kenyatta University. And then I started music a long time ago. Mm-hmm. I did it uh, like seven years ago. Uh, it was a political song. It was called Usi to Let Down. Yeah. And uh, during that time I was still a student mm-hmm. so I didn't have enough money mm-hmm. so I decided uh, let me put it on pause kidogo mm-hmm. let me hustle hustle mm-hmm. and then when You'll the time back. is ready mm-hmm. and I have the funds mm-hmm. I get back yeah so it has taken a seven year journey now oh, that's long. Yeah, that's a long long time eh? uh-huh. nilivumilia <laughs> <laughs> yeah and now I can say uh-huh. I've reached the place where I'm um, mm-hmm see the light at the end of the tunnel yeah yeah okay so yeah mm-hmm. <laughs> so um other than in in that period of seven years other than you trying to finance your music career what other input did you um, put in to mm-hmm. better your music career to better my music did you take op- any classes yes i mm-hmm. did mm-hmm. i did a lot of uh vocal training mm-hmm. i was actually right here at yeah. kenya conservatoire uh-huh. did the vocal training some piano classes mm-hmm. along that period of time mm-hmm. i joined uh the choir at mm-hmm. jubilee christian church mm-hmm. uh for three years yeah. and that's where now i was able to even mold my uh some writing skills mm-hmm, mm-hmm. in the gospel area mm-hmm. because uh I wasn't doing I was doing love songs and the political songs yeah. so I wanted to really be mentored and uh, mm-hmm. learn more about the word go mm-hmm. deep into it mm-hmm. learn about praise and worship so by the time now I was feeling now I, I feel I'm qualified mm-hmm. and I'm ready and I'm blessed to be able to now pursue gospel music yeah so then i started with vumilia mm-hmm. and then later we will be and yeah. we'll be talking about that in a short while but um you said that your first song was a political song and yeah. you were doing love songs so yeah. why did you decide that i need to make a change or to make a change mm-hmm. maybe it was life's challenges mm-hmm. you know life's challenges draw you closer to god because you're looking for hope mm-hmm. and guidance and direction yeah and then now it just felt like you know uh I think I'm I'm feeling more called to sing mm-hmm. gospel music. Mm-hmm. That's the only reason why I decided now to focus on it. Mm-hmm. I'm an artist I, and uh, you know we and still a human. Mm-hmm. We you still go through periods of love relationships yeah. and yeah. you get inspired sometimes to uh-huh. write love songs. Uh-huh. So I can't say I'm really done with it. Uh-huh. It's just that right now I'm focusing on singing yeah. the word. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um it's not many artists who take time to take classes and you know make their you know vocal classes yeah. writing classes most of the artists that you know talent you just go in yeah. you know yeah. so do you think or would you advise artists to take the classes if you can if you, yeah. if you have the finances to take the classes mm-hmm. and take classes to also have better songwriting yeah mm-hmm. uh, every talent needs to be sharpened mm-hmm. every gift you have you have to sharpen it whether you have to read more about it or uh do even if it's youtube uh, videos training you know you have to find avenues where you can sharpen your tool and never just 
feel like you're mm-hmm. you're you're always developing and growing and you should appreciate that journey mm-hmm. because it makes you better yeah so i would really advise everyone to not take it like uh you know, I, I'm gifted and mm-hmm. relaxed. Mm-hmm. You have to be even more thorough because you're gifted and you have to make sure that you are at your best at always. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So what do you think about gospel artists these days? Mm-hmm. You know, they do music with secular artists. I know there's like a whole judgment for <laughs> gospel artists. Yeah. We judge them different than we judge the other people. Yeah. But what do you think? You know, we are having artists doing gospel with Gangeton artists left, yeah. right and center. And yeah. you think we are heading in the right direction in that industry? I think, I mean, we shouldn't be too judgmental. I feel mm-hmm. like people are too judgmental. And at the end of the day, of the day everyone is a human. Uh, a gospel artist mm-hmm. singing with a Gangeton mm-hmm. artist, that's just getting uh, the word reaching a huge audience yeah there's no bad thing about that Mm -hmm. as long as they're praising god and they're lifting him higher Mm -hmm. whoever it is they're doing it with it's okay Mm -hmm. yeah Mm -hmm. it is getting uh, your the word of god to a huge audience Mm -hmm. and not limiting it yeah yourself so yeah Mm -hmm. that's how i feel about it would you do it uh i it has to be like of course it can't be like a a really out there Gengeton secular artist uh-huh. who are due to work and uh-huh. whatever uh-huh. you know we have to be at least somewhere where we can yeah. mesh yeah. Yeah. and not compromise mm-hmm. the word and mm-hmm. the message mm-hmm. yeah okay. so yeah, i'm not close to it i'm open uh-huh. you're but open we have to, to it. see if we mesh yeah <laughs> all right yeah. um as a fashion designer before we, we even get to um winuliwe Mm-hmm. What is that one mistake you see people doing when it comes to fashion, whether guys or uh-huh. ladies? Okay. <laughs> the <laughs> the <one> party <laughs> looks. <laughs> <laughs> guys also, they can make fashion. They yeah, do, mistakes. a lot. Yeah, yeah uh-huh. they can get caught. Uh-huh. My one rule is um, s- s- be simple. Keep mm-hmm. it simple. Don't. Mm-hmm. Don't overwhelm yourself with everything. Mm-hmm. You, you have bangles up to here, mm-hmm. earrings, mm-hmm. Yeah. simplicity is the best. Yeah. You can choose. If you're wearing big hoops, uh-huh. no, necklace. no necklace. If you're wearing yes. a statement necklace, mm-hmm. like tiny nice mm-hmm. studs or something. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So keep it simple yes. and you'll be you won't fail when you're simple. Yeah. Okay, yeah. all right. I mean I'm going to sour a producer. Sijava. You may choose one. Don't do everything. Don't wear the whole wardrobe. <laughs> I know. <laughs> anyway, so let's talk about Uinuliwe. Yeah. Yeah, what is Uinuliwe all about? Uinuliwe mm-hmm. is a, it's a praise song. Mm-hmm. It's lifting God higher and uh, uh, saying that, you know, he's the Alpha and Omega. Yeah. He's everything. He's worthy to be praised. So it's really just a praise song. Mm-hmm. Yeah. After Tumevumelia, mm-hmm. Sasa Tunasema, thank you, God. Thank you, God. Uinuliwe, we lift you higher. Uh-huh. Yeah. All right. <laughs> so if you were to do a collaboration today with uh-huh. one artist mm-hmm. that you admire, who yeah. would it be? One artist. Mm-hmm. I really love, I have, I have so many Aki. Mm-hmm. I love... I love Joyce Omondi, mm-hmm. uh, Alice Kimanzi, yeah. uh, Eunice Njeri, uh-huh. Evelyn Wanjiro. Uh-huh. I really love them. But uh-huh. if I was forced to choose right uh-huh. now, one, I would say, Nipe opportunity na Joyce Omondi. Uh-huh. I would be so honored. Why? Yeah, I love her voice. I love her music. Yeah, it, it touches me. And I, I love her, her melodies, mm-hmm. her, the way her music is. I mm-hmm. enjoy it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. You never know. Maybe someone is listening out there. Yes. <laughs> she might have heard. <laughs> yeah. So after we know what is coming up next? So, Album? Mm-hmm. Yeah. I'm still releasing a couple of singles. Mm-hmm. Uh, I have a new song mm-hmm. coming out mm-hmm. called Siwezi Bila Wewe. Yeah. Yeah. So it's also just uh, saying like, you know, I can walk through this life. I've done this and that. But at the end of the day, I realize yeah yeah mm-hmm. so that's my next song mm-hmm. hopefully i can release it by august mm-hmm. yeah this coming All right week. yeah okay yeah so thank you so much for coming through Asana. um kindly share your social media handles okay yeah, and tell the people where they can find your music yeah so you can find my uh social media handles are elsie gutch on twitter youtube uh, facebook and instagram mm-hmm. elsie gutch mm-hmm. and subscribe to my youtube channel and like my videos and yeah, follow. <laughs> <laughs> any shout outs as we wind up? Uh, any shout outs? I'd like to say hi to my family and mm-hmm. friends and all my supporters. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. It keeps me going. Please don't stop. Mm-hmm. Yeah.
right. <laughs> and the million dollar question is dating a must oh mm -hmm. is dating a must yes is dating a must i would say dating is good mm -hmm. it's the time where you get to know someone mm -hmm. uh where you get to know whether you have the same values yeah. interests the same direction mm -hmm. so that you don't waste time mm -hmm. or if you you don't just uh, end up with someone who yeah. Don't watch the same things, mm -hmm. don't like the same things. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you're not compatible, like you said. So it's 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 good to do even in getting a job, you have to go for an interview mm -hmm. so that they can see if you can fit in. <laughs> so <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So the same thing Thank you should you. apply with your personal life. Yes. You have to uh, interview that person. So you clearly you're see. not an advocate for arranged marriages. I only scary. Uh -huh. hey, that's scary. You wouldn't. You need to know where you're going. Yes. Hey, you need to Thank know you. where you're going. You still uh -huh. get to pa and uh -huh. then what forever and ever? No, you need to know where you're going. <laughs> <laughs> yes. I'm scared. At an interview with you and I will. <laughs> Connections, my friend, were engineering. <laughs> <laughs> so kindly remind the people social media platforms again. Yes, mm -hmm. please mm -hmm. follow me on Instagram, t Twitter, Facebook, Elsie Gatch. And YouTube channel is also Elsie Gatch. All right. Yeah. So thank you so much for coming through. And thank we wish you all the best in your music. Thank you so much for having uh -huh. me. I hope I can come again and yes, again. Yes, you're yeah. welcome. Yeah. Hey, yeah. I mean, you're welcome. Asante. We support 100% Kenyan music over here. And nice. Amazing talent. Nice. Yes. Yeah. So up okay. next is... Huh? Mm -hmm. no, Something <laughs> Nice. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> up next is Winuliwe by Elsie Gatch. Mm-hmm. <laughs>